Hi there. Welcome to Grace Enough, a brief Bible reflection offered every Tuesday. When you need a little pick-me-up, why not listen to Grace Enough? Today is Tuesday, January the 26th, 2021. This is episode four of Grace Enough, and my name is Pastor Kit. We're going to read the psalm that is appointed for Sunday, January the 31st, 2021, uh, Epiphany 4, and it is Psalm 111, Psalm 111. So I'll offer a brief reflection on a couple of questions following. Psalm 111. Praise the Lord. I will extol the Lord with all my heart in the counsel of the upright and in the assembly. Great are the works of the Lord. They are pondered by all who delight in them. Glorious and majestic are his deeds, and his righteousness endures forever. He has caused his wonders to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and compassionate. He provides food for those who fear him. He remembers his covenant forever. He has shown his people the power of his works, giving them the lands of other nations. The work of his hands are faithful and just, all his precepts are, are trustworthy. They are steadfast forever and ever, done in faithfulness and uprightness. God provided redemption for his people. He ordained his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All who follow his precepts have good understanding. To him belongs eternal praise. Psalm 111. This uh, brief reflection is uh, composed by the Reverend Stephen Reynolds, former priest of the Diocese of Toronto, and uh, this is book for all the saints, uh, January 26, and it's on uh, the church calendar remembers on this day Timothy and Titus, companions of St. Paul, this memorial. Today, the church remembers Timothy and Titus, two of the many people who assisted St. Paul in his apostolic work. According to the book of Acts, Timothy was the son of a Jewish mother who was a believer, but his father was a Greek. Paul himself converted Timothy to faith in Jesus Christ and called him my beloved and faithful child in the Lord. Though a young man and relatively new to the faith, Timothy shared the apostles' trials and labors in Asia Minor, and served as an emissary to the church at Corinth. The background of Titus is even more obscure, though we do know that he too was a Greek and a fairly young man. It seems that Titus became the permanent liaison between Paul and the church of Corinth. In his correspondence with the Corinthians, Paul called Titus, my partner and fellow worker in your service. Paul went on to remark, We have urged Titus that, as he had already made a beginning, he should also complete among you this gracious work. So it is, on the day uh, of the feast, on the day after the feast of St. Paul's conversion, January 25th, we honor his companions and fellow workers, Timothy and Titus, not only for their service to Paul, but also for their own faithfulness in the love of Christ and in the building up of the church. Well, Psalm 111. I wonder, how has God worked in your personal life, in your personal history? How has God been at work in your recent or longer term past history? Where has God been involved in your life? Can you think of works to ponder about God's greatness and graciousness in your life? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The collect for the fourth uh, for this uh, day for T Timothy and Titus day on uh, 26th of January. Let us pray. Almighty God, by the preaching of your Apostle Paul, you called your servants Timothy and Titus and made them his trusted partners in the work of spreading and establishing your gospel. Strengthen us in this present time to stand fast in all our adversities 
and to live in true godliness, that with confidence and gladness we may look for the glorious appearing of our Savior Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Thank you for joining us for Grace Enough. We'll see you again next Tuesday.